One of the more popular ideas in dealing with Islam is the moderate Muslim. Everyone's met a, quote, moderate Muslim. He's someone who seems pleasant, doesn't argue, doesn't seem threatening or violent. And so since he's a nice person and we're nice people, therefore the nice people can all work together and the nice moderate Muslim can help us to deal with Islam. Now, a national example of this is Zudi Jasser, whom I've seen many times on videos and he seems like he's about as nice as a person can be. And the moderate Muslim talks the right way. That is, they say, look, there's problems with Islam. We need to reform Islam. And they'll even let you talk about some of the worst parts of Islam, like Islamic State, without getting hyper defensive. So it seems like, okay, they're on our side, so therefore they can help us and we can all work this out together. You meet these moderate Muslims at interfaith dialogues, university lectures, and of course the media loves them and gives them a lot of interview time, and they share the idea that Islam just needs a reform. Then we go further with the fact that, you know, moderate Muslims are the real victims of Islam. And we hear this every time there's a jihad attack in America. After the jihad attack, it, we hear moderate Muslims say, oh, we're the ones who've been harmed. People look at us funny. Why in Nice, France, after the truck jihadists killed over 80 people, Muslims complained about the fact we don't get smiles and hugs anymore. So therefore, we're the moderate Muslims and we are the victims. Now then, let's get to the point. Moderate Muslims cannot change Islam. Those who think that Islam can be changed don't know anything about Islam. One of the more interesting things you can do if you're in a conversation with somebody about Islam is to say, what is Islam? I'll bet you money they won't know the answer. Well, here's the answer. Islam is the doctrine found in the Quran, the Sirah, and the Hadith. And it's put together in an operational manual called the Sharia. Now then, these are three texts. Quran can't be changed, modified, ameliorated, or anything else to it. It simply is. The life of Muhammad simply is. It's not changeable. And the traditions of Muhammad, the Hadith, are just there. They cannot be changed. So how do you reform something that cannot be changed? Well, it turns out that you can't. What happens is, is that people think Islam is like Reform Judaism or Unitarianism. That is, it's kind of whatever you want it to be, as long as it's nice. Well, Islam is not like that. It is a fixed doctrine. Islam is a bit much like geometry. It cannot be changed. Things are defined within it. A triangle has three sides, never four sides or two sides. Now you may say, well, we want triangles to have more sides and still be nice, but triangles, you can't add sides to them. So Islam is fixed in the same way. Modern Islam is the part of Islam that is ignored. It's rejected. It's not practiced, but it cannot be changed. Now, every Muslim, moderate and immoderate, has the same Allah, the same Quran, the same Muhammad, the same Sirah, the same Hadith. So all the Muslims share the common bond, if you will, of having the same sacred text. The moderate Muslim is really Islam light, or Islam without all of Islam, and they can't change Islam. They don't practice it, so they can't change it. Islam can change Muslims, but Muslims cannot change Islam. Muslims can only choose to practice part of Islam that they like, but they cannot actually change it. Here's the clue. No one can change Islam because it is fixed just in the same way that a triangle is fixed to having three sides. By definition, it can't be changed. So the next time you hear that a moderate Muslim is the key to Islam, say, no, no, no. The key to Islam is understanding the doctrine of Islam and that it cannot be changed at all. Thank you.